Hello and welcome to Electrical Engineering's 2021 Commencement Celebration, the video edition. I'm Stephen Boyd, Chair of the Department. Even though we can't celebrate together in person this year, I hope many more of your friends and family members, wherever they are, are able to watch this video and celebrate the tremendous work and dedication of our faculty and staff, and especially our graduates who have achieved so much in such unprecedented times. In this video, you'll hear from the Dean of the School of Engineering, Jennifer Whittem, our Associate Chairs of Undergraduate and Graduate Education, Professors John Pauley and Brad Osgood, will offer their congratulations and present the Undergraduate Student Design Awards. I will announce our Student and Faculty Awards. After that, we'll hear from our student speakers, Undergraduate Michael Oduoza and PhD graduate Pinpin T. McHorn. As you can imagine, their speeches convey a spectrum of experiences during their time at Stanford. Congratulations and thank you, Michael and Pinpin. The names of our 2021 graduates will be read by Professors Priyanka Raina, Joseph Kahn, Srabanti Chowdhury, and Krishna Shinoy. I'd like to congratulate you, class of 2021. I am delighted to honor a group of remarkably gifted and dedicated young people. For many of our students, their success is a measure of the support uh, they have received from family and friends. And for that, we are indebted to all of you watching today. And to our 2021 graduates, speaking for myself and all of my colleagues, it's been our privilege to teach, work with, and learn from all of you. What an extraordinary group. You will become future leaders of the profession. Congratulations. Congratulations to you, the class of 2021. Along with all of the other faculty and staff in the School of Engineering, I'm incredibly proud of you and all you've accomplished in this extraordinary year. You have worked incredibly hard to get to where you are today, and I hope you'll take the time to reflect on your many achievements and the extraordinary opportunities that await you. Our mission in the School of Engineering is to seek solutions to some of the most urgent global challenges and to educate leaders who will improve the world through the power of engineering principles, techniques, and systems. If the events of the past year have taught us anything, it's that there are so many global challenges to be solved and that the world needs people like you more than ever before. I'm confident that each of you will serve the world and your communities by applying your talents, your knowledge, and your skills to taking on and solving some of these challenges. And whether you studied and did research from here on campus or from many miles away, I hope you'll visit us here in the years to come. You will make Stanford proud and we're eager to see all that you will do with your Stanford education. Congratulations again to you, Stanford engineering graduates of the class of 2021. Hi, my name is John Pauley. I'm vice chair for undergraduate education. First, I'd like to announce the winner of the Design Award this year. This award is given to the Outstanding Design Project in one of the Capstone Design courses. This year, the award goes to Ryan Ressmeyer for his EE264 project, Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexer. Congratulations to Ryan for this outstanding project. Next, I'd like to congratulate the graduating class of 2021. I've known most of you since your freshman or sophomore year. Many of you only had a vague idea what electrical engineering was about. One of the great things about this job is the opportunity to watch students develop into excellent engineers. You have come so far and accomplished so much. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what you do next. You've all persevered during a very difficult circumstances. Your resilience has been commendable. I hope the next phases of your career are easier. Please keep us up to date with what you're doing and come back to tell us your stories. Um, in particular, come back to E100 and inspire the next generation of students. And congratulations to all of you in the class of 2021. Hi, I'm Brad Osgood. I'm the Associate Chair for Graduate Education in the department, and I want to join my colleagues in congratulating you on your graduation. You have all worked very hard under very difficult circumstances, and you and your family should be very proud. My favorite commencement remarks were delivered by the Reverend Peter Gomes, the minister of uh, Memorial Church at Harvard, and he in turn recalled a commencement address by the American writer George Plimpton. In my reconstruction, it goes something like this. Dear graduates, you have spent years leading up to this day. 
and whatever challenges you will surely face, your future is a bright one. As you prepare to take your first steps away from this institution, I have two words of advice. Don't go. It's too nice a place to leave. Run back to your room, turn out the lights, lock the door, wherever your room is, and when the dean or someone else comes knocking, say there's no one home, go away. But you have to go. We've already rented out your space. It's time for you to go. That's how it works. We stay, you go. But you can always come back and visit. And we hope you do. We'd love to see you. Thanks very much. Hello again, I'm Stephen Boyd, Chair of the Department of Electrical Engineering. I have the honor of recognizing students who have excelled in teaching. This year, I'm pleased to announce the recipients of our teaching awards. First, the James F. Gibbons Award for Outstanding Student Teaching accepts nominations from faculty and students who enthusiastically selected the following students for their excellent service as teaching assistants. Congratulations to Anna Nunez, Elizabeth Chen, and Eric Van. We thank you for your outstanding commitment to your fellow students and the department. It goes without saying that academics are of primary importance during a student's years at Stanford. As a professor, I am always so impressed by the caliber of work done by every one of our students. The final two student awards are given to undergraduates for their academic distinction. The Frederick Terman Engineering Scholarship Award is presented each year to the top 5% of the senior class in the School of Engineering. This year's Terman Scholars in Electrical Engineering are Joaquin Borgio, a co-term student, Rahul Lal, receiving his B.S. Honors today, and Ryan Ressmeyer receiving his B.S. today. Congratulations on your academic achievement. Outstanding job. Lastly, I'd like to acknowledge the excellent scholarly work of our four uh, Phi Beta Kappa graduates. These four graduates were elected to Phi Beta Kappa for their academic excellence and breadth of their scholarly accomplishments. The students are Colin Kremers, Rahul Lal, Michael Oduoza, Philip Pfeffer. Congratulations to you all. Last, I'm going to present the Chair's Award for Outstanding Contributions to Undergraduate Education. As in previous years, we have kept this surprise until, well, now. Um, this year, I am very happy to announce that the winner of the Chair's Award for Outstanding Contributions to Undergraduate Education is Professor Phil Levis. Over the last few years, Phil has led a team of students on the so-called Flight Project. It's a large-scale electromechanical art installation for the Packard uh, stairwell right behind me. It consists of 76 fractal flyers, each of which is a programmable shape inspired by the geometry of the stairwell, with hundreds of LEDs and moving dichroic surfaces that cast color reflections and shadows. He even attempted to have the faculty uh, attempt to assemble these. Uh, didn't go that well. Um, <clears throat> um, congratulations, Phil, on this, uh, and thank you for your dedication to our students. Hi, everyone. I'm Professor John Pauley, and I'm the Associate Chair of Undergraduate Education. I have the pleasure of announcing the winners of the school's Engineering Centennial TA Award. This award is given to students to recognize their outstanding contributions to teaching. This year, the Centennial TA Award recipients are Subham Chandak, Amy Fritz, Siavash Kananian, Anna Nunez, Eric Van. I would also like to announce the winners of the School of Engineering's Justice, Equity, Diversity, and Inclusion Graduation Awards. These are also known as the JEDI Awards. This award recognizes the exceptional work done by graduating graduate students in outreach and mentorship for underserved and underrepresented communities with the goal of improving the accessibility of STEM. This includes the fields of science, technology, engineering, math, and medicine. The JEDI Graduation Award recipients are Crystal Natu, Cindy Nguyen, Sean Peters. Congratulations to all of our award recipients. Hi, this is Brad Osgood. I'm the Associate Chair for Graduate Education in the department, and I'm speaking to you from the far depths of the galaxy. 
It is my pleasure to announce the award recipients for the Tau Beta Pi Teaching Honor Roll. This award recognizes outstanding faculty instructors in the School of Engineering. These faculty instructors were nominated by Stanford students to recognize their distinguished teaching, superior mentorship, and other notable contributions to engineering education at Stanford. The award recipients for the Tau Beta Pi Teaching Honor Roll are Professor John Pauley and Assistant Professor Mary Wooters. Please join me in congratulating them. Congratulations to you both. Congratulations, class of 2021. Four years later, we finally made it to this point. My analogy in describing electrical engineering is a tree with leaves and branches. So keep this analogy in mind because I'm gonna refer back to it several times throughout this speech. While generating ideas for this speech, I traveled back in time to freshman year to reminisce why I chose EE. My path to EE was actually far from straightforward. In high school, I loved math, physics, and chemistry because they explained the complexity of our world in great detail. And coming into college, I was eager to deepen my understanding of the physical workings of the world, and for the first time, applied these fundamental principles to create useful devices and systems. But as a freshman, I hadn't consolidated my interests yet. I wasn't even close. Because of this, choosing a major was very difficult for me. I was considering several different majors, and a lot of people were actually discouraging me from pursuing EE, telling me that it's a dead field since the whole world is software-based now. And to make things even worse, my understanding of EE at that time was unfortunately very basic. This is where the tree analogy kicks in. Rather than viewing EE as a tree, which is what I now believe it is, my understanding of electrical engineering was more like a leaf. A leaf has only a single stem, and that stem leads to, no leads to nowhere else but the leaf itself. That's how my understanding of EE was, very one-dimensional. What do electrical engineers do? Well, they make sure our electricity works. But it's really a lot more than that. Little did I know that electrical engineering is not just a leaf, but this complex tree linking several different disciplines and several different ways of thinking together. As I began to take EE classes, I discovered that electrical engineers solve problems and adopt methods of thinking that I would never have even imagined. Quantum mechanics, digital systems, computer architecture, I would never even have known that electrical engineers think about this kind of stuff. It really seemed like one could go into EE and solve almost any technological problem. And this is one of the key things that really drew me into EE. One important class I took was Professor Philip Wong's intro seminar, What is Nanotechnology? In that class, we learned about the transistor, one of the most important devices in electronics. Now, the transistor is probably the clearest example of this multidisciplinary, cross-cutting nature of EE that I'm talking about. I was amazed to see the collective effort that's required from so many different disciplines to design the transistor and develop the set of principles for how to get, how to get the best performance out of it. From the device fabrication side of things, to device design, to circuit design, to computer architecture, all the way up to software, it's all connected together. And EE is the common denominator. Now getting back to the tree analogy. If you think about the structure of a tree, you start from the trunk of the tree, which then leads up to the crown, and then the tree breaks off into several branches, sub-branches, and eventually leaves. EE is like the trunk of that tree, and all the different branches, sub-branches, and leaves are all the disciplines that electrical engineers are involved in, and all the types of problems that we can solve. EE is one of the most truly cross-cutting fields out there. And this cross-cutting multidisciplinary nature of EE opens doors to so many interesting innovations and ideas that wouldn't otherwise be possible. Another important thing about the trunk of a tree is that it cannot be removed, or else the rest of the tree, including all the branches and leaves, 
will fall down. The trunk is the common node that holds the entire tree together. Similarly, as electrical engineers, we should stay rest assured, knowing that the inherent cross-cutting nature of our field implies that we will always have a major role to play in technology development for the foreseeable future. I'm also gonna use a tree as an analogy for some of the trends in the electronics industry. For the better part of the last few decades, technology development in EE has been akin to climbing up the trunk of a tree. In many cases, there was only one clear path to take and everyone knew what kinds of rules to follow. Rules like shrinking the transistor, lowering the power supply voltage, increasing the clock frequency, doubling the data rate, and so on. However, due to various physical and practical limits, simple rules like these just aren't gonna cut it anymore. From the outside, it might seem like this industry is in deep trouble, but it's quite the opposite really. For us, this is actually perfect. This is literally the best time to be graduating from college as an EE. There are so many challenging problems in areas such as device fabrication, wireless communications, digital systems, AI, alternative energy, that require novel and clever approaches to the way we do things. Having traveled up the trunk of the tree for so long, the electronics industry is now approaching the crown of the tree where the path forward is no longer so straight. There are several possible paths and branches that can be taken in, ind in industry, and some of them will be correct, but some of them will also be wrong. And there lies the excitement in being fresh EEs. We will define the new paths rather than simply continue to climb up the trunk of the tree. So remember the message, EE is like a tree. The tree describes the cross-cutting multidisciplinary nature of EE that allows us to branch into almost any field and solve almost any technological problem. And the tree conveys the idea that there is no longer just one path forward for technological advancement. There are several possible paths and branches that can be taken, and luckily, we're the ones that get to the final. Six years ago, I was sitting on the stage listening to the graduation speech. I never thought I'd be giving one. Alas, this year we did not get together in person. But hey, isn't it super cool that we might be one of only two years in the entire history who get to celebrate graduation online? We can do this from anywhere in the world almost without any delay. I'm sitting in Bangkok, Thailand right now, despite my background, which is my office at Stanford. I think we're old enough to remember the times when the internet was a luxury. This would have been so convenient a decade ago. Half a century ago, impossible. Looking at things on the bright side is one crucial thing I learned from graduate school. While many of us here, including myself for sure, may lament about the situation, I want to point out that most of the things that make today possible were the works of those same students who sat in the same places as us, who spent their nights and days in the same labs as us, who waited in the same lines for EE happy hours as us. Without all the technology we have, it wouldn't have been possible for us to convene and celebrate today. Let me take us back to the very first day we stepped foot on the lawn in front of Packard as a graduate student, checking in for the orientation. Well, some of us already came for the admit weekend, but let's just generalize the experience. Do you remember how overwhelmingly exciting the first day were? Stanford was the land with endless opportunities, endless classes on explore courses to choose from, endless research groups and seminars to check out, endless sunny days with palm trees, and last but not least, endless recruiters visits with dinners and gates. Technically that's CS, but free food unites all hungry grad students. Then came the darker times. Some started to put in all-nighters to finish final projects or even midterm assignments. Some PhDs struggled to find an advisor, while other MS students struggled to find an RA or TA ship for next quarter's funding. Many of us try to jam as many classes as possible, whether to prepare for calls or just to subdue to fear of missing out. By the way, 
Some PhDs of the class of 2021 are the last students who got to take the traditional course. Problems expose themselves like question again. Stress, personal and professional relationships, imposter syndrome, you name it, as if the academic problems in classes and research aren't enough. Of course, silver linings do appear behind the clouds. Internships, conferences, publications. Along the journey, some MS students even change their minds to pursue a PhD and vice versa. But somehow, we survive. No, it was not just somehow. It's a combination of our own work to always improve ourselves, amazing faculty who stimulate our intellectual rigor and mentor us to become a conscientious scholar, tireless staff who provide resources and organize supporting events ranging from a relaxation room to faculty lunch to pumpkin carving contests, our lab mates and fellow student groups like GSEE, our residents, neighbors, and CAs, our friends and family. Yes, the list of support network goes on endlessly. Finally, we got through it all and are right here today to acknowledge the end of one graceful structure in life. Similarly, we will get through this pandemic together. Vaccines are out and shall get, things shall get back to normal soon. We also finally get a partial in-person commencement this year. Again, without the toils of graduate students before us, would a solution come around this quickly? I think COVID-19 is the best reminder of how resilient we, as electrical engineering graduate students at Stanford, all are in tackling the greatest challenges in this world and making it a better place to live every single day. As you move forward in your careers post Stanford, remember what you were able to achieve and how you were able to thrive during a pandemic. Please take strength in your courage and the lessons you learned at Stanford and apply them to your new adventures to come. Congratulations, class of 2021. Nibha, are you ready? Rakan Albarhuti. Abby Odette. Adikunle Awujinrin. Jonathan Chang. Arjun Thawan. Pally Dunham. We need Edu Buganti. Hashem Elizabe. Emma Margaret Ford. Chloe Glickberg. Ty Kausoa. David Hyun Kim. Yong Nam Kwan. Rahul Lal. Joseph Loy. Andrew Malti. Equia McLeod. Michael Oduosa. Max E. Perko. Tarun Punus. Ryan Resmeyer. Nathaniel Norwood Staffa. Yuji Sugimoto. Andre Turati. Kyle Walker. Sarah Rose Woodard. Kangwe Shui.
Gorish Agarwal. Surin Lindsay Ahn. Perry Alagapan. Justin Babauta. Deepika Badri. Alexander William Bergman. James Bess Devereaux. Nicole Beaner. Scott William Blankenberg. Steve Burke. Yan Yu Chang. Wei Xu Chao. Saranyu Chattopatye. Christine Chen. Wu Yan Chen. Ming Kun Chen. Shi Chen. Tuo Fei Chen. Jonathan Chang. Timothy Chong. Nicholas Comley. Polo Contreras. Aisan Dagdar Kiani. Emily Iris Dahl. Brano DeMello Dal Bianco. Rohan Doshi. Joelle Dowling. Hallie Dunham. Lingling Fan. Martin Sebastian Fernandez. Jackson West Foster. Natalie Kim Gable. Mark Gee. Hasser Gaixi. Tony Alejandro Ginnart. Chloe Glickbar. Shup Gupta. Zahi Hakim. Nick Hill Hira. Melissa Horowitz. Fang Yi Xiao. Sun Han Huang. Tiffany Wan Ching Huang. Rebecca L. Huang. Niha Sim Inam. Arissa Irani. Baravan Isak. Manas Islam. Yan Hao Jiang. Yi Wen Jin. Ian Kennedy. Purna Kular. Min Jiang Kim. Andy Kim. Jung Su Ko. Sarila Kodali. Nathan Kong. Tae Young Kong. Catherine Kowalski. Brooke Lee Krajancic. 
Su Shang Kuo. Akash Levy. Calvin Lin. Alyssa Sachiko Ling. Sophia Liu. Siyu Liu. Timothy Liu. Ewen Liu. Zihan Liu. Zooks Liu. Adeline Marie Lopez. Michael Liu. Chinyun Liu. Xiaoteng Liu. Justin Liuk. John McNally. Daniel Mendoza. Loren Menza. Andrew Misiolik. Sarah Mitchell. Courtney Moran. Shreyas Muralidharan. Narayan Murthy Onar Chesmi Mutulu Zachary Alexander Myers Crystal Natu Catherine Nielsen Mengman Ni Akwasi Oyusu Acha Evgenia Pargament Rohan Farke Karthik Prabhu Tarun Punuz Meera Radhakrishnan Chandra Sekara Mitra Rajyam Preston Rogers Vinayak Sachidananda Abhiprai Sahu Gregory F. Search Arun Sitaraman Skyler Selvin Lucas Sofar Kavya Sridhar Arvind Srivastav Nathaniel Norwood Staffa Elias Stain Maxwell Bradley Strange Christopher Strong Zhang Hao Sun Cheryl Tain Nicholas Tan Yanpei Tian Si Yi Tang Skyler Chilney Vok Ije To Rahul Trivedi Aparna Nilakanta Tumkur Vamsi Venkata Jaya Varanasi Gabriel Vega Ramandeep Singh Vilku 
Sumaya Wahid Paul Walter Jia Hui Wong David Robert Whistler Kelly Wu Sarah Woodard Siddhi Asawa Warren Shema Baker Spiridion Balsavius Leighton Barnes Stephanie Bohaichuk John Buckmaster Brandon Buscano Yair Carmen Subham Chandak Minghun Chen Kevin Chen Holly Chang Ayel Sidon Anjali Datta Isha Dati Sarah Devel Amy Fritz Anki Fu Lucia Gan Tony Gennard Sub Gupta Albert Garal Faria Hayi Luke Chow Yusin Hu Pan Hu Tiffany Wong Stephen Ibanez Hayato Ikoma Mark Jankowski Jingwei Yi Kuija Jang Colleen Josephson Rejun Young Isaac Kuvar Yang Ho Kim Soong Jin Kim Kevin Kingingham Young Su Ko Anthony Kochek Brooke Kurchanich Brett Kuprell Sewell Lee David Lindell Xiu Liu Huizi Mao 
you meow. Ahmad Reza Momeni. Ali Motagi. Andrew Neighbor. Mamdu Nasser. Batu Astukler. Amid Partovi. Sean Peters. Ricardo Peterson. Lena Kui. Pranav Ramesh. Angad Reiki. Ritu Raj. Vin Sachi Dananda. Christopher Sandino. Skylar Selvin. Arjun Shashadri. Ali Sharafat. Vatsal Sharan. Aman Sinha. Junkyo Shu. Kawan North. Li Tao. Pin Pin Timakorn. Giant Tati. Stephanie Teets. Raul Trevetti. Jonathan Tuck. Ramandeep Vilku. He Wang. Andrew Ward. Poshan Wei. Fei Sia. Shuarong Xiao. Lily Shu. Runji Shu. Chin Yang Yao. Bryce Yao. Kai Zhang. Shijin Shao. Sin Zhang. Jia Zhuang. Congratulations, class of 2021, you finally did it. You worked so hard and pulled so many all nighters. You've laughed, you've cried, you've stressed, you've networked, and you've built a community. You've also made plenty of wonderful memories and friendships that will last a lifetime. Our department and student services team are so proud of you and you've come a long way. Give yourself a pat on the back and go celebrate with your family and friend. You deserve it. On behalf of the electrical engineering student services team, we would like to wish you a big heartfelt congratulations. congratulations. <laughs>
Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs>